Jet Elite 2. Inside Honda Jet, this is what Honda calls the highest, fastest, and farthest flying jet in its class. Now, what is the difference between Honda Jet Elite 2 and Honda Jet Elite? Well, the cabin is a little bit bigger. Also, it uses more sustainable materials, and also it is more efficient than the original Honda Jet Elite. Now, one of the things to note with this is that it is only available to existing Honda Jet customers. So if you're interested in a private jet, obviously you have no chance, at least at the moment, for getting the Honda Jet Elite 2. Now, you can see here, it has accommodations for up to six passengers and one crew member. Also, in the rear here, you've got the restroom area, and it is just comfortable overall. Uh, very nice, uh, even for, again, sort of a small jet in its class. It is very comfortable. You have the ability to pull out a table and be able to do your work inside Honda Jet. And so you can go a range of up to 2,600 nautical kilometers and also it has a short runway takeoff of 1100 meters. So we also cover sustainable aviation here on cleanearth.io and it's very nice to see Honda with their Honda Jet Elite 2 addressing sustainability. So here's the crew member seat right here. Uh, we're not pilots, but we wanted to give you a look at the pilot instrumentation inside the Honda Jet Elite 2. Really crisp controls and these yokes. Uh, really nice right here. Three very large displays of roughly 15 inches each and then you've got some control instrumentation right here of about five inches. Again, we're not pilots, so we're not gonna mess with anything. And then great visibility out of the cabin. So this is Honda Jet Elite 2, and look forward to seeing it at your local airport, but very nice job with Honda in their next or their second generation of their Honda Jet Elite plane. Satoshi-san. Yes. Okay, very nice. So uh, this is HF120 yes. that powers Honda Jet. Yes. Right, so tell us a little bit about this engine and what makes it special or unique. HF120 is an engine characterized by high efficiency, low emission, and low maintenance cost based on high reliability. High uh, thrust to weight ratio. High thrust, okay, interesting, interesting. So tell me, because we know this, this is the Honda Jet Elite 2. Mm -hmm. Is this the same engine on the first generation Honda Jet Elite? Yes, or, okay, okay. The same I see. Engine. Okay, I they see. Continue to use same engine. Yeah, from yeah. That Honda Jet original. Right, right. The current version. Okay, interesting. Now I know that uh, with Honda Jet, it is a Honda engineered engine. There's a partnership, if I understand. Um, actually, uh, this engine originally was a HF118. Okay. okay. Which is a Honda internal uh, development engine. I see. And uh, once they complete the development, right, we. Um, talk to General Electric, a GE, yes, to make this engine um, production engine. I see. Oh now, wow! To make it, um, we need to certify the engine. Okay, right, right. And, uh, in the discussion, okay, we decided to improve um, by bringing both um, companies' strength. Right, right, we right. Improve the engine. Okay, and it turned out to be one HF one twenty. HF one twenty. And uh, we certified this engine in at the end of uh, 2013. Okay, okay, wow. And uh, following the uh, Honda Jet certification in right. 2015. Okay, I see. And since then, this engine is uh, sold um, public. I see, oh wow, interesting, very nice. So um, one final question. I heard that Honda uh, has recently uh, completed a 100% sustainable aviation fuel yes. test. Okay, can you tell us about that? Yes. And SAF stands for Sustainable Aviation Fuel. We consider the fuel as means to contribute achieving carbon neutral for the upcoming decades, along with the continuing effort to improve engine efficiency. As a preparation, we have conducted two sets of SAF engine tests. The first test was conducted at GE Engine Test Site in Peebles, Ohio in 2022. HIFA SPK was used in this test. The second test was conducted at Honda's engine test facility in Saitama, Japan in September 2003. ATJ SPK was used. Currently, these SAFs are allowed to mix with the fossil-based traditional fuel up to 50% when to be used as Jet A1 fuel. In both HF120 tests, SAF content of up to 100% were tested to see its effects 
and successfully demonstrated performance and other characteristics as predicted. Honda has also become a member of SAF FAA OEM review panel. Together with other review panel members, Honda will contribute to the safety and widespread use of SAF by evaluating the safety of newly developed SAF. Honda has also joined Act for Sky, which is a voluntary organization dedicated to the commercialization, dissemination, and the expansion of domestically produced sustainable aviation fuel in Japan. Honda aims to promote use of sustainable fuels for air engines through multifaceted activities. So very briefly, if you could explain, because we hear about SAF tests a lot, but the average person may not understand what that is. What, what is really sort of the big challenge with transitioning from conventional jet fuel to an SAF fuel? Uh, to my understanding, right. it's a, a mass production. Okay, uh, okay I see. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, of course. That's okay. the most biggest uh, challenge. That's the biggest challenge. Okay, just the production cost and obviously scaling it yep. to being able to uh, fly jets, uh, at least sort of at the right. sort of the rate that we currently fly them. Yes. Okay, very nice. Well, thank you so much time for your time. Uh, we learned a lot and uh, really great to speak with someone uh, who knows about the engine. Uh, so thank, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, arigatou gozaimasu. All right, okay, very nice. Thank you.